can't prove that he wrote harassing social media posts, therefore they shouldn't be used as evidence in their increasingly messy divorce. Kim claims she read something online allegedly by Kanye and characterizes the posts in her declaration as misinformation. Kim needed to offer the social media posts into evidence and show that the posts were written by Kanye, court documents, obtained by TMZ on February 26, said. Less than two weeks ago, Yee publicly said he took accountability for harassing Kim and her boyfriend, Pete Davidson. For what it's worth, Kanye's team never actually says he didn't write the posts, but they say Kim can't prove he did. Yee has long fought against the divorce and has tried to throw up multiple roadblocks along the way, but Kim has made it clear that she wants out. Yes lawyer is also trying to challenge the Kim I's prenuptial agreement. Both of Kanye's fights are uphill battles, as they are fairly routine court procedures. Whether Kanye likes it or not, a judge could declare Kim legally single next week. Kanye West is trying to throw another wrench into his divorce. The rapper, via his lawyer, is claiming that the reality TV star can't prove that he wrote harassing social media posts, therefore they shouldn't be used as evidence in their increasingly messy divorce. Kim claims she read something online allegedly by Canyon characterizes the posts in her declaration as misinformation. Kim needed to offer the social media posts into evidence and show that the posts were written by Kanye, court documents obtained by TMZ on February 26, said. Less than two weeks ago, Yi publicly said he took accountability for harassing Kim and her boyfriend, Pete Davidson. For what it's worth, Kanye's team never actually says he didn't write the posts, but they say Kim can't prove he did. Ye has long fought against the divorce and has tried to throw up multiple roadblocks along the way, but Kim has made it clear that she wants out. Yes lawyer is also trying to challenge the Kim I's prenuptial agreement. Both of Kanye's fights are uphill battles, as they are fairly routine court procedures. Whether Kanye likes it or not, a judge could declare Kim legally single next week. Reason for ending her marriage of nearly five years. In her docs, in which she revealed she's expecting a baby in May, she asked for alimony, primary custody of their soon-to-be-born child and child support. However, just a few hours later, Hannah inexplicably withdrew her divorce filing. But on February 23rd it was reported that the divorce was back on. TMZ explained that Hannah only withdrew the paperwork because her attorneys realized they'd filed in the wrong county. She has sincere filed the case in the appropriate county in the Nashville area. Cheating accusation. So Sam Hunt's pregnant wife is filing for divorce after all. On November 18th, Hannah Lee Fowler filed divorce documents, citing adultery as the reason for ending her marriage of nearly five years. In her docs, in which she revealed she's expecting a baby in May, she asked for alimony, primary custody of their soon-to-be-born child and child support. However, just a few hours later, Hannah inexplicably withdrew her divorce filing. But on February 23rd it was reported that the divorce was back on. TMZ explained that Hannah only withdrew the paperwork because her attorneys realized they'd filed in the wrong county. She has since refiled the case in the appropriate county in the Nashville area. Launch off a major military operation in Ukraine. Many in Hollywood, like the rest of the world, watched in horror, and some reacted with disbelief on social media. Dancing with the Stars alum. Videos before retreating to a bomb shelter. A few hours later, it was reported that Sean Penn was also in Kyiv filming a documentary about the invasion. The weekend, though, was apparently one of the few not watching the events unfold, which led to a major faux pas. At the precise moment Russian missiles were being launched, the music star tweeted, Let's go. He was trying to hype up his latest project, which was set to be released on February 24. The blinding light singer's feed was bombarded with fan messages telling him to delete the tweet. Worse, some fans assumed he was cheering on Russian military forces in siding with the Kremlin. Finally, two hours after that tweet was posted, the singer said he didn't know what was going on in Europe. Unfortunately I am just now seeing what's happening with the conflict and will pause on tomorrow's announcement, he tweeted. I pray for everyone's safety.
Ukraine invasion. Russia's invasion of Ukraine dominated the news as the week came to a close. On February 24, Russia's President Vladimir Putin announced the launch of a major military operation in Ukraine. Many in Hollywood, like the rest of the world, watched in horror, and some reacted with disbelief on social media. Dancing. With the stars alum Maxim Chemerkovsky was in Kyiv, Ukraine, as the invasion began and recorded several tearful Instagram videos before retreating to a bomb shelter. A few hours later, it was reported that Sean Penn was also in Kyiv filming a documentary about the invasion. The weekend, though, was apparently one of the few not watching the events unfold, which led to a major faux pas. At the precise moment Russian missiles were being launched, the music star tweeted, Let's go. He was trying to hype up his latest project, which was set to be released on February 24. The blinding light singer's feed was bombarded with fan messages telling him to delete the tweet. Worse, some fans assumed he was cheering on Russian military forces and siding with the Kremlin. Finally, two hours after that tweet was posted, the singer said he didn't know what was going on in Europe. Unfortunately I am just now seeing what's happening with the conflict and will pause on tomorrow's announcement, he tweeted. I pray for everyone's safety. Weethi Chawithim Kung Pumi Pak Zhei Tawan XX Cheng T. Ad Hitachi. Slideshow continues on the next slide. Weethi Chawithim Kung Pumi Pak Zhei Tawan XX Cheng T. Ad Hitachi. Called Sherry. Due to ongoing health issues, Wendy has been Mia from her eponymous daytime talk show since July 2021. Wendy as she deals with her health issues. She is incredibly grateful to syndication company, Debmar Mercury, to Sherry and everybody else who has supported the show through this time, Wendy's representative said on February 22. She, more than anyone, understands the reality of syndicated television. You can't go to the marketplace in sell a show that's the maybe Wendy show. She understands why this decision was made from a business point of view, and she has been assured by Debmar Mercury. That should her health get to a point where she can host again and should her desire be that she hosts again that she would be back on TV at that time. Show's over. To no one's surprise, the Wendy Williams show is no more. The time slot will now go to Sherry Shepard, who will host a show called Sherry. Due to ongoing health issues, Wendy has been Mia from her eponymous daytime talk show since July 2021. It's been a challenging time for Wendy as she deals with her health issues. She is incredibly grateful to syndication company, Debmar Mercury, to Sherry and everybody else who has supported the show through this time, Wendy's representative said on February 22. She, more than anyone, understands the reality of syndicated television. You can't go to the marketplace and sell a show that's the maybe Wendy show. She understands why this decision was made from a business point of view, and she has been assured by Debmar Mercury. That should her health get to a point where she can host again and should her desire be that she hosts again that she would be back on TV at that time. Their engagement, Aaron took to Instagram on February 21 to share a lengthy list of things he's grateful for. Tops on that list was the Big Little Lies actress. At S. Hyleen Woodley, thanks for letting me chase after you the first couple months after we met, and finally letting me catch up to you and be a part of your life, he wrote. Thanks for always having my back, for the incredible kindness you show me and everyone you meet, and for showing me what unconditional love looks like, I love you and I'm grateful for you. Same day, Aaron and Shailene were spotted together at Erifin Market in Los Angeles. They came to the cafe for breakfast and just sat outside at a table. Together, a source told the outlet. Status update? Aaron Rodgers and Shailene Woodley are sparking reunion speculation. Following reports that the duo split and called off their engagement, Aaron took two. Instagram in February 21st to share a lengthy list of things he's grateful for. Tops on that list was the Big Little Lies actress. At S. Hyleen Woodley, thanks for letting me chase after you the first couple months after we met, and finally letting me catch up to you and be a part of your life, he wrote. Thanks for always shaving my back, for the incredible kindness you show me and everyone you meet, and for showing me what unconditional love looks like, I love you and am grateful for you. 
On February 22, he gushed about her on the Pat McAfee show. E! News later reported that on the same day, Aaron and Shailene were spotted. Together at Erifin Market in Los Angeles. They came to the cafe for breakfast and just sat outside at a table together, a source told the outlet. Husband Cook Maroney, an art gallery director, recently welcomed their first child. The Webloid further reported that the actress had a baby shower at the end of Baby Bliss. Jennifer Lawrence is the newest mother in Hollywood. Public records obtained by TMZ on February 23 showed that Oscar winner and husband Cook Maroney, an art gallery director, recently welcomed their first child. The Webloid further reported that the actress had a baby shower at the end of January. Headlines this week, the actor revealed that he and St. Elmo's fire actress Mare Winningham throw weddings, he said before gushing of Mare, she's just spectacular. She's an amazing singer and she's a wonderful actress and she's an incredible person. The duo, who co-starred in 1996's Miracle Mile and were both previously married to other people, reportedly took their long-term friendship to the next level in 2020 after both moved to New York City. Secret Wedding Er and Top Gun star Anthony Edwards was keeping a big secret. In an interview with Esquire that debuted on February 11 and made headlines this week, the actor revealed that he and St. Elmo's fire actress Mare Winningham quietly eloped last year. Who knew? We're too old to throw weddings, he said before. Gushing of Mare, she's just spectacular. She's an amazing singer and she's a wonderful actress and she's an incredible person. The duo, who co-starred in 1996's Miracle Mile and were both previously married to other people, reportedly took their long-term friendship to the next level in 2020 after both moved to New York City. Been speculation the two reconciled. We were separated and got back together and were happy about that, Ben confirmed in an interview with Esquire that came out on February 22. The dodgeball actor said the couple reconnected during the coronavirus pandemic as they quarantined together with their children. Then, over the course of time, it evolved, he said. It's been really wonderful for all of us unexpected, and one of the things that came out of the pandemic, Ben said he and Christine learned to accept their differences. I think we have a respect for the ways that were similar and the ways were different, and I think accepting that, you can really appreciate someone more because you're not trying to get them to change for you, he said. Once you accept that, you save a lot of energy. This is something that works for me, this is something that doesn't work for me. If you have that trust level with your partner, you know that me saying I don't like doing that thing is not me saying I don't like you. Officially back together. Back on. Ben Stiller and Christine Taylor separated in 2017 after more than two decades together. But in recent years, there's been speculation the two reconciled. We were separated and got back together and were happy about that, Ben confirmed in an interview with Esquire that came out on February 22. The dodgeball actor said the couple reconnected during the coronavirus pandemic as they quarantined together with their children. Then, over the course of time, it evolved, he said. It's been really wonderful for all of us. Unexpected, and one of the things that came out of the pandemic. Ben said he and Christine learned to accept their differences. I think we have a respect for the ways that were similar and the ways were different. And I think accepting that, you can really appreciate someone more because you're not trying to get them to change for you, he said. Once you accept that, you save a lot of energy. This is something that works for me. This is something that doesn't work for me. If you have that trust level with your partner, you know that me saying I don't like doing that thing is not me saying I don't like you. Motels Broad Beach. Book hotels. B. Adu.booking.com slash broadbeach slash motels. Slideshow continues on the next slide.